More families will soon be reunited with their loved ones. Families like Sharon Cuneos, Sharon and her twin daughters, Emma and Julie, were among the 11 hostages released today. Her sister Danielle and her daughter Amelia were released Friday. But Sharon's husband, David, is still being held by Hamas. The family was abducted from their kibbutz in southern Israel on October 7th. In the weeks since the attack, Danielle and Sharon's family is one of many that have fought tirelessly to get them home. Their cousin uh, is joining me, Alana Azachik, is joining me right now. Thank you so much, Alana, for being with me this evening. First, I, I can't imagine what this last 50 days plus have been for you uh, and your family. Uh, and you have been uh, so heroic in really raising the story uh, so publicly and with a, a tremendous amount of grace. Um, I wanted to ask you about the fact that so many of these kids are returning home and, uh, and mothers and, and wives without their husbands, and they're being left behind at this point. And, and as a family member, what impact is that having? And uh, what is your thoughts on all of the men and husbands and fathers who are being left behind at this point? Yeah, it's really heartbreaking. So of course, as you said, David is being left behind. Every child that was released today also has a father being left behind. Um, it just feels like a really cruel game to be playing on the families. You know, Sean is going to come out and look to heal, as will her children, and they're going to have to do that without their father. And it's just another trauma compacted on top of trauma. And that trauma, I think, is something that's so important for people to remember, because we're seeing these joyful moments of people reunited with family members. But these children, these people who have been held hostage, uh, mothers and family members, they have a long road ahead. Uh, wh what do you think people should know about that road ahead and what kind of help and resources that many of these uh, hostages are going to need? Yeah, exactly. So it, it looks, it is celebratory seeing them smile, seeing them be, being reunited, but we can't ignore the fact that they've been in captivity for 50 days and now they're going to be learning about what happened on October 7. Some children are going to be learning about, you know, what could have happened to family members. Um, and I think, you know, they need support to heal. The emotional trauma is going to be great. And, you know, of course, me as a family member, I'm going to do my best, but I think, you know, um, if, like, therapists who are, um, you know, who are specializing in PTSD and really just the world, right, the support of the world. They need your support to help them heal, to help them, you know, move past this at the best they can. I know that you have, have said you're eager to hug, your, you're eager, I'm sure, to hug your family members and be with them. What do you want to tell them when you see them? I just want to tell them how much I love them, how brave they are, how brave these little girls are to have made it through this nightmare that they've been through, and just to tell them also how many people across the world loved them and put their pictures up and and cried for them and prayed for them. I, I received so many outpouring of messages, and I'm going to tell them how many people across the world have been thinking of them. That is certainly true. So many people have been thinking about them around the world. I know as you've been out there, you've been mindful and thinking about what you can and cannot say. And I know this is probably on the minds of a lot of the family members who still have people who are being held by Hamas. Talk to me a little bit about what's going through your mind in terms of what information you feel comfortable sharing and what not, and, and same with other family members. Yeah, I really don't know very much information at all. You know, Danielle just got back and, you know, she everything she's really being sheltered and held close by her immediate family right now. I think it's too risky to be sharing information. And I'm sure that's what we'll see of many families who are who are being released. You know, we have David still there and so many other hostages, and we just don't want to risk anything in regards to their safety and their and their potential return. And um, so we really don't have very much information to share. And if I did, it's not something, you know, I would I would want to share because I don't want to risk anything. Which is, I think, important for people to hear. And Alana, thank you. I, I look forward to you hugging all of your family members and being reunited with them. And we're all thinking of uh, David as well, uh, as I know everyone in your family is. Thank you so much for being with me this evening.